Hello and welcome to another episode of Danica Raven's Bite Size Horror. This week's short story is called Play With Me by Amber Macron. If you're sitting comfortably, you shall begin. The lights came on again. Blood ran down the back of my neck, staining my frilled white collar. I don't look real anymore. I'm not real. I'm not supposed to be. I tiredly raised my eyes to look at the walls around me. I'm still not sure where I am. I was surrounded by pictures of a beautiful little girl. She was blonde, happy, full of life. As she grew within the frames, Something within her seemed to vanish. The older she got, the more she seemed to fade somehow. I wanted to turn my head. I wanted to see the other mysteries that lay within this shed-like place. But I can't move. A muttering unsettled me. Was someone here to help me? Through the corner of my eye, I saw a man, aged with worry hunched over a sewing machine, working frantically. He spoke in nonsensical grunts and groans, containing words that I couldn't understand. I tried to part my lips to speak, but I couldn't. All I could manage were a few soft groans. Suddenly, the old man slammed his fist upon his workbench, lunging towards me like a cobra, choking me with both hands. Shut up, you little whore. I won't hesitate to get another one of you. You need to be perfect for my Hannah. I will not let you ruin this for my Hannah. I inhaled sharply. I would have braced myself in fear, but I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. I felt a sharp pain strike my elbow as the old man pushed the needle back into my arm. I looked up at him, my eyes begging. I moved my lips to try to speak. Please, I whispered barely. His fist rose in fury. The lights went out again. My eyes fluttered open. My eyelashes seemed bigger somehow. As I finally gathered my thoughts, I noticed the large mirror in front of me. A girl looking back at me. Her hair was in perfect raven pigtails that reached her waist and flowed over a frilled rose pink dress. Her skin was like pale snow, porcelain, flawless and perfect. A small heart-shaped pout played upon her face. She looked nothing like me. She wasn't me anymore. The old man appeared behind me and placed a small brown bear on my lap, smiling ecstatically. You're perfect. You're finally everything I wanted for my Hannah. She's finally going to have her own friend, her own dolly. I must get her now. She's going to be so excited. You will both be the best of friends. Several minutes later, the old man returned. Under his arm was a young girl who couldn't have been any older than eight. Her eyes were hollow and her head bore not a single hair. She raised her head and looked at me and her eyes instantly came to life. She let out a small squeal of excitement and ran towards me eagerly. Daddy, I can't believe it. She's beautiful, my own dolly. I could hardly breathe. What was happening to me? A small tear trickled down my powdered white face. My blood ran cold. The little girl brushed my perfectly styled fringe from my face and looked right into my wide doe eyes. Play with me, Dolly. Play with me. Big thank you to Amber McCrone for allowing us to read her short story on the show. Uh, this is another story from the short collection Mortis, A Flash of Horror. If you enjoyed this story, why not check out another couple of our videos read from the same collection.